Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Today we are doing a review on the infamous Canon SX60 right here. This was the first camera I bought for filming YouTube and it is the camera I used for almost a year. So I think I have a pretty good understanding on how it works and I have really good points to tell you guys to see if it's worth it or not worth it to spend the money on this. So with that, if you're interested, let's get right into the video. So like I said before, this is the first camera I bought to film YouTube. Now I think I filmed my first maybe like five or maybe less than that, maybe like my first three videos on my iPhone and then once I really realized that I definitely do want to film and start filming a lot, I decided to buy a camera. I don't remember where I heard of the SX60, maybe online. Um, I think I watched someone else's video and they said it was a good beginner camera. Didn't want to spend too much because obviously, you know, it's, it's a new hobby. I, I thought I wanted to do it, but you know, you never know. Um, a few months into it, if you're not into it, what's the point of spending hundreds of dollars on a camera if you're not really going to commit. So I wanted to stay on the cheaper side but obviously still have good quality to show for my videos especially because I am um, not just a makeup channel but like a beauty channel so it's kind of like close-up shots and you know you want to do like your close-up of products and all of that stuff. So I did definitely want something that was good that has good audio and all of that. So I saw a lot of reviews online about the SX60. Um, I looked it up online, knew that they were around like maybe 300. So I did end up buying a refurbished one, which is definitely what I would recommend getting in any camera, honestly. I've personally always had really good experiences buying refurbished and it makes it way cheaper. So when I don't have the money, I just always go to refurbished. So I did end up buying this refurbished online. I'm not sure of the exact price I paid, but it was around $300. I have been using it up until I bought my new camera, which is what I'm filming on right now, which is the G7X by Canon. Um, and I actually originally just bought this camera to use as a vlog camera because as you can see, this camera is bulky. Um, I didn't want to really carry this around with me and I did have a few trips coming up and I wanted to start vlogging. So I wanted to purchase a smaller camera, one with a flip screen that I could see myself on and see what I'm filming and everything like that. So I did only really purchase this camera for that. But then once it came in and I saw the quality is so good, the audio is good on it and it's really honestly an amazing camera. So I am actually going to be selling this camera and I am going to be using the G7X as my main videos and my vlog videos. So yeah, I can kind of give you a little hint as to what the review is going to be. So for my camera, the one that I have, it works completely fine. There's no defaults at all. There's really no defaults um, on the body at all either. And I've never experienced anything go wrong with this camera. It is in great condition and it works really well. So I will give you guys like a close up of what it looks like exactly. This is it. This is on all sides. You got a little flash here. Got, you have to take this off every time, which is annoying. Got that. This side and your back. And you do have the viewfinder, which you can flip to see yourself, which is cool. Um, it doesn't really have many features. And again, like I said, it is very bulky. It is a bridge camera. So what that means, what I'm pretty sure that means, because I'm not the most camera techie, but I'm pretty sure that just means that you can't change out the lenses. So, you know, you can't like take this off and put on a bigger or like clearer lens or anything like that. It just is one lens that you can't change. Okay, so right now I'm going to be talking about the pros of it. I'm going to start out with the pros. So one of the main pros, I think, and at least from looking at other people's reviews, and this is really the main thing that people say, is that it zooms really really far we'll show you how it zooms so if you keep zooming so that's how much it zooms it zooms really really far you can get really good shots like going the whole distance I used this um, I went up the mountains up Pocono mountains with my family and 
my cousins were canoeing and they were really really far on the lake and i got my camera and i zoomed all the way like you can see them talking it was really cool and it was, it's very clear so that's definitely a really good pro another pro is that the battery lasts for a really really long time and the standard canon battery came with my camera and i know like a lot of if you buy it refurbished a lot of them come in packs and they have that standard battery but that one lasts so long like I can use it for a really long time and it doesn't die that's the one like con I have about this camera is I'm because I'm not used to it especially I talk for a while as you guys know from watching my video I can just talk and talk and like a 20 minute video on this camera my camera will die but for this I used to film like 30 minutes maybe even longer just talking and my battery would be completely fine it wasn't even close to dying so that is another really good pro of this camera battery life is really good another pro is that it's very easy to use I would consider this a beginner camera it doesn't have many features which for me doesn't really matter because I'm not like a photographer so I don't really need that stuff it's just very user-friendly all of the features on here are stuff that I can kind of figure out. Just really easy and beginner friendly. Another really important feature is that it connects to your iPhone. So it has Bluetooth capability and if you download the Canon app onto your phone and you turn on this camera, there's a little tiny button right there and it's a little iPhone if you can see that. And if you click that and open your Canon app, you can get all the pictures and all of the the videos right onto your phone very easily so i really like that um most cameras nowadays have that but that again is a really nice feature to have another really good thing is that it focuses very well so i never ever struggled with getting my camera to focus on specific products it would do it really nice like right here you see if i hold up my hands it takes a little bit like see it still won't even do that now see there it goes it takes a little bit to focus and get on something if i put it up really close to the camera um this ca camera never had that problem right away i would put something up and it would focus like that so that's a really good important thing especially if you don't want to sit there all day because with this camera i'm like holding something up and it's not focusing it's so annoying but um again this camera never really did that so that was a very important feature to me i'm sure if anyone else is filming youtube videos you understand that that was really nice that it did that now i did film a video when i first got this g7x i unboxed it and i did comparisons like split screen comparisons and you can hear the different audio and you can see the different footage so i will leave that video listed in the description box below that is definitely really helpful to see it compared to something else to another camera so i did do that and if you just want to see any other video filmed with this sx60 if you go back a few months on my channel and you go to the g7x unboxing pretty much any video before that was filmed with this camera so if you want to check that out okay now to get into the cons which i think personally i would say that they do outweigh the pros um depending on what you're using it for for me right now i'm pretty much just talking about youtube usage because that is what i bought the camera for so the main con i would say would be that it's not amazing quality but really pricey if that makes sense so i will touch on this again in a few minutes but i would say that that's the main thing um you know like i said before it doesn't really have many features but it's still pretty pricey so it's not like it doesn't have many features and it's cheap um i would say at least for me i would think it's pretty pricey i did look last night and they're all going for like around 350 so i don't really think it's that great of quality to spend that kind of money another con would be that it's really heavy so i never really wanted to like bring this around it's really heavy duty it feels like if you drop this like it would just break into a million pieces and it seems easy to drop because it's heavy and i never really wanted to carry this around especially because you know you would need a bag big enough to fit this if not you'd have to either carry it around your neck which would hurt your neck or carry it i don't know in your hands all day and yeah that's a lot and that's kind of annoying also another con is the camera lens i hate that it is so annoying there were so many times because i did use this once like i said for that mountain trip i used it as a vlog camera and there were so many times on the drive up there or even being there that i wanted to get something really quick and i missed it because i had to like take this off and then turn on the camera where you know like this camera or other cameras you turn it on and it just 
does it itself. It just unleashes the lens itself, which I definitely would prefer, especially if you're vlogging or capturing videos or pictures that you need to take like that in like the blink of an eye. Definitely not a good thing. So another big thing, especially if you're filming YouTube videos, is that there's no blurring capabilities. So right now you can't really tell, well you can a little bit, but in this camera, see, you can see me and I'm a little bit more in focus than the background. It blurs it out a little bit. It might not be doing it so much right now, but this camera is actually really good with it. In my vlogs, like when I'm holding it, it like pretty much blurs out the whole background, which I love and that you find that more on like pretty expensive cameras so that's really nice this doesn't have that at all so you're pretty much in focus just as much as the background which is not horrible but it doesn't look as professional as like something like this would look also it's really not good in low light so you have to take that into consideration as well um, if you're filming YouTube videos, not a huge deal because I know a lot of people set up some kind of lighting system or you film in front of your window, which gives you light, so it's not horrible. But if you're doing anything like outside or in a dark room or vlogging where you know you can't control the light, definitely not the best. So pretty much, I would say that I actually really did like the camera. Um, before when I bought this, obviously I knew I was going to upgrade to a nicer camera in the future when I wanted to really commit or maybe when I started to get some followers and could justify you know purchasing a really expensive camera and while I thought that I knew right away that I was going to give this camera a good review and suggest it for anyone who's a beginner on YouTube but since I bought the G7X I my opinion did change that's really what I think changed it for me because you know if you don't have anything to compare it to you don't know and I thought that the SX60 was doing a good job. I knew when I would try to take screenshots and make them into thumbnails, it was very blurry. And I could tell, even just watching back my videos, that it wasn't the best quality. But I thought for the price that it was a good camera. And I thought when I originally bought it that I did as much research as I could. And I thought that it was a good camera. Which isn't, it is, I wouldn't say it's a horrible camera, I would just say for the price point, there's a bunch of other cameras that you can get. For example, the one that I have, you can tell this is a really, really good camera quality and I bought this for $370. I say it in my unboxing review, but I'm pretty sure it's $370, which is around what I bought this for. So this camera quality is a hundred times better. This camera has everything that this camera has, just better. So I would definitely recommend getting something like the G7X. There's also a G7X Mark II, which is a little bit more expensive. So, to sum it all up, if you can find this camera, if you're a really beginner, and you can find this camera for really cheap, then I would suggest getting this, because it's not horrible. And, you know, there's good capabilities of this. It's a good beginner camera. I'm just saying for the price point, if you're going to find this for $350, or anywhere around there, just get another camera. There's so many other ones on the market for similar prices that are way better. So for that price point, I would say skip out on this. But say you find this for $200 or something like that, maybe it would be worth it to get it. That's something that you can kind of weigh the pros and the cons on your own and see if it's worth it for you. But maybe the SX60 is good for other things like maybe nature shots, it does zoom really far like I was saying. So if you're into other things other than YouTube filming, maybe it is a good camera. I would just recommend doing your own research and taking all the pros and cons I said into consideration and deciding whether or not it's worth it. If you can find a G7X though on the market for like cheap, definitely get it. I am obsessed with this camera, it's so good. But that is it for the video. I hope you guys really enjoyed. I hope I explained everything well and I hope you guys got some good pros and some good cons. Last night I was sitting there and trying to write down everything I could think of, of all the pros and all the cons, what I liked, what I didn't like. Again, I will leave that video comparison video linked in the description box so definitely check that out. That can kind of give you a good comparison view of it. So with that, that is the end of the video. Again, I hope you guys really enjoyed and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.